15 years ago, a chilling event changed a little boy's life forever. A criminal tore his world apart. Suddenly, he was orphaned and alone. That very night, he would make a vow that he would never forget. He prepared himself. He developed his mind, mastered science and criminology. He pushes himself to the limits of human endurance, determined to strike terror throughout the criminals. He is a grim soul fighting a relentless war on crime. He is the Batman. What is this about, Maroni? What the hell is the Roman? He's busy dealing with other business. Ah yes, the man in the high castle. Why did you call this meeting, Don Maroni? We have some problems to fix. Are you talking about the vigilante? Well, we have to take care of the bat too, but I'm talking about Mooney. Ah yes, Fish Mooney. Well, it is that the penguin fell in alliance with the happy bear. This woman is ruining our business. We have to take her down. Don't worry, Maroni. In the right time, the fish will fall in our bait. And then we will take care of that traitor Cobblepot. Huh? What happened to the light? Can someone turn on the damn light? Gentlemen, lurking in the shadows to hide from justice won't work. I am. The night. Kill him, boys. Get out of here, Don Maroni. Angelo, let's talk. I will tell you nothing, you creep. What is the Roman planning? He's planning a wedding party to his nephew, Johnny Vitti. And he's also making a deal with Wayne Enterprises. Just business as usual. But I'm sure that you can get more information about that in the newspaper. GCPD, nobody move. So it's just the smaller fishes here. Maroni was here, with Angelo, but Maroni ran away. Anyway, do you know Harvey Dent? Yes, he's been re-elected as DA. Yeah, well, he wants to meet you. When? 
tomorrow, where we usually meet. Commissioner, the prisoners are ready. Good. Take them to Blackgate. Yes, sir. If we get anything from Angelo... I guess I have to get used to that. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I must thank you all for trusting in me as Gotham's DA. My re-election wouldn't be possible without your votes. As I've promised in my campaign, after we've worked hard and cleansed the corruption from the police department, I will be joining forces with the new GCPD commissioner, James Gordon, to take down the Italian mob once and for all. And we will do it by the book. Because I believe in Gotham City. Congratulations, Mr. Dent. I'm sure you'll continue the great work you've been doing for the city. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I will do my best. District Attorney Harvey Dent. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so honored to be part of your life, my husband. Thank you, Gilda. I just hope that I'm able to save this city. And buy that bigger house, as I promised you. I know you will. I believe in Harvey Dent. I love you, Mrs. Dent. I know. Welcome back, sir. I'm glad to see that you're still alive. How did the new suit work out? It worked out well, Alfred. This just did an amazing job. The black suit that I made, just too heavy for me. And how was your day, sir? I didn't capture the Roman or Moroni, but I did get Angelo. He talked about Falcone making a deal with Wayne Enterprises. Wayne Enterprises investing in Falcone's company? This is definitely not good, sir. It's not. Bruce Wayne has to do whatever it takes to avert this deal. Perhaps I should remind you, Mr. Wayne has a party to attend in his manor to celebrate his old friend, Harvey Dent, re-elected as Gotham's DA? Look who finally decided to show up. I'm so sorry, Harvey. I had some unexpected business to deal with. We started to think you weren't going to show up. I'd never miss one of Harvey's famous celebratory speeches. Thanks, Bruce. For everything. I couldn't have one without your support. You don't need to thank me. I believe in you. I've always believed in Harvey Dent. Bruce! Tommy! It's good to see you! Harvey, this is Thomas Elliot. You must be the famous best friend of Bruce's childhood that he talks about sometimes. Oh, he still talks about me. I'm shocked. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, anyway, I just came by to say hello. It's a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Dent. He is a good guy. He's also one of the best plastic surgeons I know. Maybe you can fix that ugly face of yours. <laughs> Selena, How are you? Oh, hi, Gilda. Bruce, where have you been? Another special board meeting? Uh, something like that. Selena, let's go get something to drink. Okay, sure. Harvey, I have to present you to some people. Bruce, this is Clay Duncan. He studied with me at Gotham University. Nice meeting you, Mr. Duncan. Your name, it's, uh, Irish, right? My family is Irish. We moved here to Gotham when I was five. <coughs> Sorry, I have to take this. Jim. What is it? He did? Really? That's great! We meet tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Okay. See you there. Who was it? It was Commissioner Gordon. We have a special meeting tomorrow night to discuss some important matters.
Angelo and at least half a dozen men got arrested by GCPD. But we're making arrangements to take Angelo out of prison. That's good. Angelo knows too much to stay in prison. What about Moroni? He didn't like that you sent Angelo to the meeting without letting him know. I will talk to him later. This bad man is ruining our business. Our only hope is the Wayne Enterprises investment. Any news about the deal, Alberto? The board meeting is scheduled for tomorrow. Richard Daniels said that he will convince the board to approve it. Very good, my son. I am proud of you. Carla, Johnny, my sister and my nephew. It's so good to see you. You haven't forgot about our meeting today, have you? Of course not, Carla. Sofia, Alberto, I think you have more important matters to deal with. Yes, Papa. Now let's talk about Johnny's wedding party. Can you tell me more about your past? Could you be a little more specific? Well, let's begin with your childhood. I had a very disturbing childhood, I guess. And why is that? When I was at school, some boy started making fun at me. Because I was very shy. They bullied you? Yes. Did you tell the school about it? Yes, but the boy's parents were very influential in the community at the time. So nothing happened. And the boys kept bullying me. Did you try to defend yourself? I did. I said that what they're doing was wrong. But they didn't stop bullying me. After a while, they started punching me. It made me so angry every time they punched or kicked me. And what did you do with this anger? Did you beat them? No. I... I never unleashed that anger. I kept it to myself. I just couldn't give back what they were doing to me. It's wrong. But keeping this feeling to yourself until today is very dangerous, Harvey. It's been at least, what, 15 years that you're just keeping this anger inside? This can cause a drastic problem to you in the near future if you're not able to control it anymore. I always do my best to hide it. But, recently I almost did something very wrong. I... I almost killed a dog from the neighbor because it was barking a lot in the middle of the night. And that's why I came here, Doctor. I think it's time that I look for help. And you did the right thing, Harvey. As I said before, it's very dangerous if you keep all these negative feelings to yourself. Next session, we'll start with a special treatment to help you with your anger issue. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. How was it, Harv? It was good. It's a start. That's great to hear. Are you going to the office today? I have to. Need to take a look at some lawsuits. And tonight, you shouldn't wait for me awake, Gilda. Because I'm going to arrive late. Oh, okay. And why is that? I'm going to meet Jim at GCPD tonight. We're going to meet someone. You mean... Yeah, him. This is outrageous. How can you make such a reckless decision like that? Investing this company's money into a criminal like... Calm down, Bruce. Mr. Falcone is not a criminal. He doesn't sell drugs or anything illegal. He's a shoes dealer. I'm even wearing one of those right now. I agree with Richard. Bruce, this is business. And this deal will make millions for our company. It's dirty money. The decision's already been made, Bruce. The deal is almost done. We're just waiting for the government's approval so we can sign the papers. They'll regret this decision, Lucius. Making this deal is wrong. Falcone is a criminal. Everyone knows it. Now, off record, is the special suit I made for you suiting better? Yes, it's working pretty well. Thank you, Mr. Fox. You're welcome, Mr. Wayne. Now, I have to go, Lucius. I have a meeting tonight.
Where is he? He should be here by now. And how is everything at home? With you, Barbara, and your daughter? It's good. Barbara understands. What about you and Gilda? Gentlemen. Batman. Dent, congratulations on your re-election. Thank you. I suppose that you called me here to talk about the Roman. Yes. We have to take him and Moroni down. They are just ordinary men. But they put themselves above the law. But they aren't. Aren't they? Then why are they still running free, Commissioner? What about Angelo, Commissioner? Did you get anything from him? No. Angelo's lawyer bailed him out. That's just one of a dozen cases that happened the same thing. Theft, kidnaps, murders. All with their names related. But they buy witnesses and juries. They are untouchable. So you know what we have to do. Just to be clear on this, in our enthusiasm to take down the Italian mob, we can bend the rules but never break them. If we will take them down, we will do that by the book. We have to show that our way works. Of course. Deal. I believe in Gotham City. Gotham is my home. I've stayed ten years away from my city, so I could learn how to save it. Save it from people like you. But it seems that's impossible. You have every politician and jury in your pocket, even companies. I am a lucky man. Dr. Daniel said that the board approved Wayne Enterprises doing business with my company, but that you were against it. And I must admit, when I heard that you didn't approve of this deal, I was disappointed. After all, our families do have a past. My father saved yours because he was a good man. More than that, he was a doctor. He made a vow to save every life that was at risk. Even scum like you and your father. If you came here to ask me to undo the deal, the answer is no, Mr. Wayne. And about your accusations, they're only true if a jury can prove any of it. One day, you will be taken down. Enough of this. I believe that your girlfriend, Mrs. Kyle, is waiting for you. Enjoy the party, Bruce. And be careful. I assume that you're the famous playboy millionaire Bruce Wayne. It's billionaire, Miss... Viti. Carla Viti. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you. Congratulations for your son's wedding. Anyway, where is Johnny? So I can congratulate him myself. He's probably at the bar drinking with his friends. What about Miss Kyle? Dark-haired woman. She's usually wearing a black dress. Oh, Selena Kyle. What a beautiful girl. She left the party a few minutes ago. She said she had other business to deal with tonight. Ah, okay. Thank you. Good night, Miss Vitti. Alfred, prepare the suitcase. Meow. Step away from the vault, Catwoman. Batman? How the hell did you find me? You left the window open. <laughs> That's why you're the world's greatest detective, darling. Surrender, Catwoman. Catch me if you can. Congratulations, Johnny. I'm sure that your mother and Don Falcone are very happy about your wedding. Thanks, Angelo. I'm glad that Zio Falcone built you up for my wedding. Yes, Don Falcone is a good man. I owe him my life. And what about that bad vigilante? Any news from Don Falcone? 
He's thinking about offering a bounty of one billion dollars for whoever brings a bat's head to Roman. One million? I should try to kill the bat myself. Boys? Sophia, what can we do for you? It seems that the re-elected DA is at the party uninvited. That bastard! We'll take care of this, Miss Falcone. You and Milos can go. I need to go to the bathroom. I swear to God, you. I will kill that son of. Where the hell is Stent? I want you to find out who killed my nephew, Commissioner. Whatever it takes. And I expect that you'll forget what you think about your feelings in this case. And do an honest judgment. I will do my job, Falcone. I will find the killer. No matter what you or your relatives do, murder is never an option. Merkel, I want you to interview whoever was at this wedding party. Is this really necessary? Haven't you just asked me to do my job and find a killer? That's what I'm trying to do, and I expect full cooperation from you and your family, Mr. Falcone, and I ask you to leave the restroom. No civilians are allowed to stay in a crime scene. Of course. <sighs> this will be a hell of a long Halloween. Did you hear everything? Yes. Do you think that he has something to do with this? No, he loved his nephew. He would never kill Johnny Vitti. Not at Johnny's wedding party. Then who? That's the most difficult question to find an answer to. Some men told me that they saw you hunting down Catwoman. Did you catch her? No. She escaped. Damn. But that's not important right now. We will catch her later. Kason, give Batman the information about the victim. Johnny Vitti, 28 years old, 6 inches tall. Single shot to the head. Instantly killed. Time of death, around 8 to 10 p.m. We haven't found a weapon or any fingerprints besides the victims. Sir, the list he came in. It's a 38 pistol. Our John Doe also left a pumpkin on the crime scene and a message on the wall. Lestiate. It's a word in Latin. It means justice. Since the killer knows Latin, we can assume that we are dealing with someone who knows Latin. Maybe someone who studies languages. Or someone who can use Google. It's easy to translate a word to Latin nowadays. You're right. I still have to get used to all these technologies from the 21st century. Have you asked Falcone if he heard any gunshots? Falcone said that they didn't hear anything, and that they have found Johnny's body here around one hour after the murder. Hmm. So the killer used a silencer. That's what I thought. What about the pumpkin? It is Halloween today. The GCPD just left the building. They're taking Johnny's body to the morgue. What about my sister? Sophia is taking care of her. Good. I can't even think about how bad my sister is feeling after her son died on his wedding day. There is something else. What is it? We found your vault opened. One of our men saw Catwoman and Batman getting out of the building through your room's window. That's it. Put a bounty for the heads. One million dollars for whoever can kill the bat or the cat. Yes, Papa. A new case? Johnny Vitti was murdered yesterday. Oh, dear. But I assume that you already have suspects. Yes, but it's too vast. I'll have to narrow it down. What about the board meeting, sir? How did it go? 
They approve the investment. I'll have to scare Richard Daniels so he'll cancel the deal. Is it the right thing to do, sir? I thought that you would use the cowl to fight crime, not capitalism. Falcone is a criminal. Wayne Enterprises can't do business with that man. It'll ruin everything that my father built, that he stood for, believed in. But by doing so, what will it cost, sir? What a delicious vine that Falcone gave me. Huh? Weird. I thought that I had closed the window. Richard Daniel. Oh my god, it's you! What? What do you want? Wayne Enterprises money. It should stay away from Falcone's company. That bastardo! I want him dead! I warned you, Falcone, and now we're going to have a lot of problems making a deal with any company. My family has millions sitting. This is a serious problem, Carmine. The other families are already looking at you sideways. I know about our situation. Angelo, ask someone to hire that mercenary you know. I want the job done, whatever it takes. Angelo and Milos told Detective Allen that you were trying to sneak into the party. Yes, it's true. Goodness, Harvey, what were you thinking? You know that I would have to arrest you if you really got inside that party, right? I know my rights, Jim. But I had to find something to use against the Roman. At what cost, Harvey? Going to jail with him? If it's necessary. Damn, Harvey. Think about- Take it easy, Jim. I didn't break any rules that night. You almost did. It would be worth it. But I heard that Wayne Enterprises is not investing in Falcone's company anymore. It seems that Richard Daniel broke the deal and quit. I hope that Roman doesn't end up killing the guy. The movie was amazing! Dear, I was thinking... Why don't we leave Gotham for a while? Maybe go to Paris? Oh, Richard! You mean it? RICHARD! Fake. Batman, you put a bounty on your head too. Perhaps I can kill you and get the money from your bounty too. I don't think so. Tell me who hired you. I'm sorry, Ben, but I got paid early, and I'm not going to give you his name. I can pay double if you tell me the name. <laughs> you are funny, Ben. Not oh, fine. It was Mickey who hired me. Thank you for your cooperation. We are thankful for the spectacular life that we have, that we can support each other, and I'm thankful for being a better man than I could ever dream of. I'm thankful for having this amazing life with my amazing husband, who's the best lawyer on this planet. And I'm thankful for that, too. Being a family means you're part of something very wonderful. It means you'll love and be loved for the rest of your life, no matter what. Happy Thanksgiving. You got any news from Don Valcone? Nothing. The old man is pretty busy dealing with money problems. He even cancelled the bounty on Batman and Catwoman. Damn. So the business is not good. Wait. I have to take this. Hello? Mickey. Who... who is speaking? You know who I am. It can't be! I'm watching you. In the shadows. Mickey. Let's talk. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh god! What, what are you? Finally! Food! I didn't come here for you. I just want this man who's disturbed your privacy. He's my food now, and so are you. GCPD, Chief O'Hara speaking. How can I help? Chief O'Hare, I got Mickey, and I fought a human crocodile. You'll find Mickey trapped on Grundy's alleyway. Okay, I'm sending some men to come pick them up. Wait a second, did you just say a human crocodile? How is John Vitti's murder case going, Commissioner? Falcone wants an update about it. And so do I. After all, it's almost been a month since the murder happened. We're doing our best to find out who killed Johnny Vitti, Mr. Mayor. I hope so, James. If you don't find that killer soon, I may have to think about replacing you. As soon as I have anything new, I will let you know, sir. But now I have a wife and a daughter waiting for me at home. Happy Thanksgiving, sir. Dense residents. Oh my god. How did it happen? Okay. I will let him know. Gilda? Who was it? It was Merkel from GCPD. He said that Mayor Robert was murdered. Jim wants you at the town hall. Robert Cohn, shot in the head. Time of death, around 9 to 10 p.m. I spoke to him right before he died. He was pressing me to find the killer of Johnny Vitti. And now I have to find the person who killed him, too. Do you have ballistic results already? It's a thirty-eight pistol. The same used on Johnny Vitti's murder? Yes. So we can assume that it's the same killer? Probably. We also have a message on the wall. Mendax? What does it mean? It means liar in Latin. And there's something else. What is it? Today is Thanksgiving Day. Another holiday. Jim, I am here. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, Harvey. I'm sorry for summoning you at this time of the night. That's okay. Why do you need me here? I'm doing a press conference tomorrow morning. I need you to look at the legal terms so I can talk to the press. Mel Khan's death is not good to a business woman. I agree. Now the DA has more freedom to come after us. The mayor was a great ally. Do you think that Fizz Mooney is the one pulling the strings? That she hired an assassin to take care of her enemies? Maybe. We must be cautious about this. Cautious? Every day that passes, Fizz Mooney takes control of a new person of Gotham. She allied herself to the Penguin. We must counterattack now, Carmine. We are in great trouble, Moroni. If we take any wrong step now, we could be ruined. It's true that the Batman and Commissioner Gordon are busy hunting down the killer of my nephew and Robert Kahn. But the DA's office is still coming after us. I'm sorry for interrupting you, Papa. It's okay, Alberto. We're done here. What is it? Commissioner Gordon's press conference is about to start. Commissioner Gordon! Commissioner Gordon! Calm down, please. I'm going to answer your questions now. But first of all, I am sad to officially confirm that Mayor Robert Kahn died yesterday night in his office. Commissioner Gordon! 
Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. Gordon! You. Morning, Commissioner. Vic Vale from Gotham Gazette. Is it true that the killer who is being called by your men as Holiday is the one behind both Johnny Biddy and Mayor Robert Kahn's murders? I cannot confirm nor deny that information for now. As you all know, I cannot comment about an ongoing investigation. However, the GCPD is doing everything in their power to find out who killed Mayor Robert and Johnny Vitti. What is the situation at the moment? Do you have a suspect? The situation is under control. We are working hard on this case to find out who this holiday killer is. As soon as we find out who it is, we will let you know. What about Batman? Is he working on this case with the GCPD? I'm sorry, but if you don't have any other real questions, I have to go back to work. As I said before, we will do everything we can to arrest the killer known as Holiday. Holiday? What a lame name! Wait a second, what am I saying? I call myself the Joker. <laughs> ah. What do we have here? It's Mickey Mouse. Ha! That's very funny, Commissioner. What do you want? I want to know who asked you to hire Deadshot. Was it the Italian mob? You know I ain't telling you that. Well, I tried the easy way. You can interrogate him now. Who the hell are you talking to? He's talking to me. Oh God, no, not you! I will ask you one more time, Mickey. Who asked you to hire Deadshot? It... it was the Italian mob. They wanted the man dead, so I hired Deadshot to kill the bastard. Did you hire him to kill Johnny Vitti too? What? Why would I do that? We know that you play both sides, Mickey. Look, I swear to God, I had nothing to do with Johnny's murder, okay? He was a good friend of mine. I would never hire someone to kill my friends. Never! I see that you still haven't figured out who killed Johnny VT, eh? Okay, that's enough. Take him out of my office, Merkel. And send him to Blackgate. Do you believe him? I do. It couldn't be Deadshot who killed Mayor Kane. He was locked in Blackgate. So our holiday guy really is the one responsible for killing Johnny Vitti and Robert Kahn. We're dealing with a serial killer. That's what the clues lead to. So the question is, who is Holiday? And who's next? Jingle bells, Batman smells, Gordon laid an egg. The Batmobile lost a wheel and the Joker got away. Are you going somewhere, sir? Joker escaped from Arkham Asylum. I need to find him. Today is Christmas Eve, sir. I assume that you are going to arrive late. Probably. What should I do with the turkey? Keep it warm until I get back. Okay, sir. What about Miss Kyle? She was coming here to celebrate Christmas with you. Tell her that I had an urgent matter to deal with at Wayne Enterprises. On Christmas Eve? Yes. Are the gifts in the Batmobile? Yes, sir. As you requested. I'll pass by the orphanage to give them to the children. I'm sure that they will be very surprised to see... Batman Noel giving them presents. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas, Alfred. It's Dent. It has to be that bastard. I want this man dead, son. You and your brother need to find someone inside the DA's office to take care of Dent. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Pino? This is serious. <laughs> son, you okay? <laughs> Pino? <laughs> <laughs> Poor little boy. Died too young. You are. Uh, uh, uh. Don't even think about it. 
good boy, Maroney. Or should I say, <laughs> holiday? Holiday? Me? Are you crazy? You are number two in this city. Always behind old man Falcone's back. He is the big boss. So far only Falcone's payroll got killed. I swore by my mother's grave. I have nothing to do with those motors. It ruins everyone's business. The holiday kill is bad for everyone. Then who is he? That is a pretty girl, don't you think, Butch? Yes, she is, Fish. Ah! Huh? Go see what is happening, Butch. Fish Mooney. I expected you sooner. I'm looking for the Joker, so I decided to see if he came here. Why would that clown come here? I think he's trying to find out who Holiday is. And you think I'm Holiday, or at least he works for me. Ever since the killing spree started, you got territories from the Italian mob. In every situation, you win. You're wrong. Everyone loses with this killer running free. And no. That clown didn't come here. If I find any clues related to the holiday... You won't. What are we doing here at this time, Harvey? It's Christmas already. We should be at home, celebrating. But we are. Merry Christmas, Gilda. Oh, Harvey! Did you like it? I love it! It's our new home now, as I promised. And we can now start our family. Thank you, Harvey. Welcome home, Mrs. Dent. Wow. Harvey, it's beautiful. You even put a Christmas tree there. Actually, I didn't. Ah, then maybe the broker left it there as a Christmas gift. Yeah, probably it's that. You should go check out our bedroom. It's two times bigger than our last one. Really? I need to go see it. It's upstairs. Ah, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. What a beautiful house, Harv. What did you think of the Christmas tree? It's a gift for you and your wife. <laughs> Get out! Oh, wow! What a punch, big bad Harv. You are good. Sir Maroney can be right. Maybe you really are holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and Gotham doesn't need two homicidal maniacs. There can only be one, and that will be me. I'm not Holiday. I am a lawyer. I would never kill someone. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Oh, well then. I have to go. I still need to find the real Holiday, and I hope that you will be a good boy, Big Bad Harvey, or I will come back for you. <laughs> Harvey! I heard everything! Are you okay? 
I'm fine, Gilda. Damn, I feel like a Mio. I'm sorry for your loss. Are you? I think that you wish that these maniacs would kill us and do your work. It's not my style. I don't kill. And how many people die because of this? Anyway, what the hell do you want? The Joker. What did he tell you? He's hunting down Holiday. He wants to know who he is. I told him that probably Harvey Dent is a new serial killer. So, Carmine, we have important matters to discuss. What do you want? Here's the thing. You're getting soft. If it was in the past, you should have killed this holiday guy already. Things change, Clown. You better find and kill this holiday guy until New Year's Eve, or I will find a way to kill him myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don Falcone, is everything okay? Call Sofia and Alberto in here, now! Uh, can I help you? Same procedures made on Johnny VD and Mayor Roberts' murders. Yes, same weapon. No gunshot heard, and he left a message on the wall. Ego Morton. I am death. It's in Latin, too. So we really are dealing with a serial killer who kills on holidays. I need Harvey to convince the warden of Arkham Asylum to let me interrogate an inmate. Who do you want to? Julian Day. The Calendar Man? Do you think that he is Holiday? No. He hasn't escaped Arkham. At least that's what the footage on the camera shows. But the Joker ran away. We can assume that he could escape, too. I need five minutes with him. Okay, I will talk to Harvey about it. Alberto Falcone, the firstborn of Carmine Falcone, was the third victim of the Holiday Killer. And tonight, we have a guest, Mr. Grant Morrison. Good evening, Paul. So, Grant, it's been two months since Johnny Vitti's murder. The Vice Mayor, sorry, the Mayor, Milton Finger, promised that the assassin would be caught before the end of the year. But the question still remains, who is Holiday? Who do you think is the serial killer, Grant? I think that Batman is the serial killer. Batman? A killer? Oh yeah, that's right, Bo. I think that he is responsible for the killings. And why do you think that, Grant? Think about it, Bo. Batman and the GCPD have reportedly been trying to take down the mob for almost a year and nothing. Now that the DA is on their sides, Batman have the free access to do whatever he wants to. But Batman was seen hunting down the criminal known as Catwoman at the time of Johnny Vitti's murder. How would he be in two places? Probably it's just a lie told by the police to the press to cover up Batman acts. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks for bringing your point of view about all this situation, Grant. We just hope that whoever this serial killer is, he is caught by the authorities. And after the break, you are going to see a documentary about how you can celebrate New Year's Eve with your friends. Gillian Loeb. Don Falcone, it's an honor to see you again, my old friend. How's business? It could be better. With your substitute James Gordon and the DA tracking me down, I am powerless. And we are losing a lot of money. 
I was sad to hear it. And I'm really sorry for your losses, Carmine. The Batman appearance was a bad thing to all of us. He brought hope to this city. And I warned you about it, Lob. You should have listened to me. And I regret not hearing your advice, Carmine. This mistake cost me my career. Anyway, do you still have any contact from the GCPD? Do you know if they have any news on the Holiday Killer? Nothing new. They just confirmed that it's a serial killer. I need to find that bastard and put an end to this. Do you remember when the Italians allied themselves with the GCPD to take down the Irish mob? I do. That's when the Falcone family and the people of Gotham's respect. Yeah, those were good times. Indeed, Gil. I heard that the Joker threatened you to find Holiday before New Year's Eve. He did. And today is New Year's Eve. I just wonder what that maniac is planning for tonight. <laughs> It's time for some fireworks! Time to ring in the new year! <laughs> where... where am I? Harvey... Who? Who is there? Who is speaking? It's me, Harvey. No. It... It can't be. I like how Joker called me on that night of Christmas. Big Bad Harv. Please. Just... Go away! I can't do that, Harvey. I am your Two-Face. No! You're not real! Of course I am. I'm you. What do you want? I want justice. Just like you. But we have to do it our way. And what is our way? Chances, Harvey. The Law of Averages. The Great Equalizer. No! This... This isn't right! Go away! Wake up, Harvey. No! Wake up. Harvey, wake up! <laughs> Clay? What... What happened? You tell me. It looked like you're having a hell of a dream. Probably I fell asleep while I was working. And why are you working so late anyway? It's New Year's Eve! <laughs> I should ask you the same thing, Clay. I am looking at old cases related to the Italian mob. What about your wife, Gilda? You should be home with her. You could look at these old files tomorrow. I guess you're right. What about you, Clay? Don't you have anyone waiting for you at home? Nah, I live alone. What about your parents? Why don't you go celebrate with them? Because they're dead, Harvey. Oh. My apologies. Why have you never told me about that when we were in college? Because you never asked. I... I'm really sorry, Clay. It's okay. It happened a long time ago. They died in an accident. Why don't you come celebrate New Year's with us? I'm sure that Gilda would love to have visitors. I'd love to, but... Uh... Well, I tried. Happy New Year, Clay. Happy New Year, Harvey. Stop this truck! Now! <laughs> Don Falcone, my condolences for Bulldo's death. Just like you, I lost my own son recently. All because of this holiday killer. We have to find a way to stop him. I appreciate your concern, Moroni. It touches me, really. And I've been thinking about Holiday, as the press calls him. Or uh her. -huh. All I know is that Holiday likes to attack my family. My business. 
It doesn't seem to have blood on your side of the table. What are you trying to say, Carmine? Papa, it's almost midnight. Where is Gil? He is outside. And go call him, please. Oh my god. Why are you trying to stop me? I'm going to stop the Holiday Killer! By killing everyone on Gotham Plaza? Of course! You know who Holiday is. There is a great chance that he is in the middle of those people. You're insane! How did you figure that out? Get a little kiss? Thirty days has April, June, September, and... Julian. Detective Gordon. It's Commissioner now. Oh, and I see that you've brought a friend too. I've spoken to the district attorney, and he is willing to reduce your sentence in half if you help us with these murderers. The killer who kills on holidays. Or as the press calls him, Holiday. Will you help us? February is Valentine's Day. She will kill again. She? He likes attention. No one knows who she is. But he has made a name for himself. Or herself. March is St. Patrick's Day. March. Surely we'll have caught the killer by then. April Fool's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Halloween. Let's go. February is Valentine's Day. Miss Kyle came here looking for you, sir. She asked me to remind you about your date. Uh, tell her I can't go. I'm busy trying to find the serial killer, and today is Valentine's Day. Perhaps going on a date can help you solve the case. How? Well, you take some fresh air, it helps with your mind, and at the same time, you preserve your social image and the Wayne name. I don't care about my social image, Alfred. Wayne is just a name. No, it's not. It means more than just a name. It's your father and mother's legacy. And I expect that you respect them and go to this date with Miss Kyle. <sighs> Fine, you won. But you know Selina is Catwoman, right? At this moment, I'm willing to accept you dating even a canary. Make sure to look everywhere. We have to be certain. You ain't find any guns in my restaurant. It's against the rules. I believe you. But we have to search for it anyway. I'm sorry that this is your doing, isn't it, Mr. Dent? We got a report that your bodyguards use guns in your restaurant. Which is illegal. So we came here to check if it's true. We looked everywhere, Jim, but we found no gun. I told you. It seems that your information was wrong, Mr. Dent. It doesn't matter! I know about your illegal activities. 
I am putting together the pieces. One way or the other, you and the other families are going down. Are you threatening me, Mr. Dent? Harvey, that's enough. Let's go, Jim. Selena! Bruce, I thought that you wouldn't come anymore. Sorry for making you wait. I was at a meeting. I know. Alfred told me. You look incredible. Right back at you. I had a bet with Holly that you wouldn't show up. That I would certainly get a phone call with some excuses. After all, this happened on Christmas and New Year's Eve. Well, you lost. I'm glad for that. You know, I've been rethinking about certain things in my life. At first, I thought that our relationship would interfere in my work. But I might have changed because I like what we're having. Me too. Since we started dating, I've changed a few things in my life. Before our relationship, I was less social. <laughs> that didn't change much. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Salve Tom Maroni, Tommaso Panessa, Antoine Rotelli, and Carlo Vitti. I arranged this meeting because we have important matters to deal with. This holiday killer is ruining our business, and it's making us lose a lot of money. I got information that Harvey Dent, the GCPD, and the Batman might start their own offensive against us very soon. We have to take care of them. Agreed. How should we handle the situation, Falcone? I met a woman a few years ago, a scientist. She had special abilities. We can use her to take care of the Batman, and then Holiday. What about the district attorney? I'll take care of it. Good. If you need anything for the job, just contact Sophia. Of course, Dr. Falcone. What about Fish Mooney and the Penguin? Don't worry about that, Panessa. I have my man watching them 24 hours per day. I can't believe that Don Marani made us stay here. You're right. I should be on a date with my girl. Not spying on that fat little animal. Exactly. Anyway, who do you think Holiday is? Gilda, are you awake? Harvey, what time is it? It's late. Sorry if I woke you up. Happy Valentine's Day. I was wondering when you'd get home. Barbara, I... I know I've already said that too many times, but... I am sorry. It's okay. It can never be too many times. Gordon here. Merkel, what is it? Damn it. Okay, I'll meet you there. And turn on the damn signal. I'm sorry, Barbara, but I have to go. This time, Holiday exploded the car, killed two men. We still can't figure out who they are but we can't assume that they could be related to the Italian mob. How did Holiday explode the car? Detective Allen saw footage from the Iceberg Lounge security camera, 
and Holiday shot the fuel tank. How about the message this time? It was Mortis. Death. Detective Allen said that Holiday was wearing a dark hood, so we couldn't see his face on footage. He is smart. He hasn't left a concrete trail that we can lead so far. Agreed. But do you think that Holiday could possibly work for the Penguin? After all, it was in front of his club this time. Hmm. It's possible. The press is on to us. We have to end this case as quickly as possible. Very well, fish. I will get the weapons for you. Do you think that the boss is Holiday? What? Are you crazy, you guy? Do you want the boss to kill you? I mean, that would make sense for revenge against the Italian mob. Maybe you are right. I hate all this revenge drama. <laughs> what the hell? It's him! What? What are you? I'm vengeance. I'm sorry, fish, but I'll have to turn it off. Have to deal with a bat infestation. Well, you did great theatricals as usual. Now you have earned my attention. I want answers, Penguin. Who did you hire to kill Moroni's men last night? Surprisingly or not, I didn't hire an assassin to kill them. I don't do this kind of thing. This is not my area of business. That was someone else. Your area of business? Yeah, I'm just a club manager. Don't lie to me! We both know your real business is. Now tell me who Holiday is. I... I am telling you the truth. I know nothing about this Holiday killer. What about the weapon he used? It was a 38 caliber pistol. Have you sold any of these? I don't even sell this kind of weapon. Just the big ones, like a machine gun or a rocket launcher. Do you know who could sell this kind of weapon? Every ordinary store sells this kind of pistol. Everyone can have it. But I heard about a Gotham's gift store once. It sells missing evidences. The seller is Harlan Graves. Maybe you'll find something there. Let me guess. You're the famous Dr. Pamela Ivesley. Call me Poison Ivy. No! My plants! You will pay for that, Batman. First, I was doing that just for my payment. But now, I won't enjoy killing you. I'm sorry, Green Lady. But no other woman touches Batman but me. What are you doing here, Catwoman? She was attacking my home, the East End. So I had to do something. Thanks for the help. <laughs> You're welcome, Bruce. Wait! <sighs> Tell me who hired you. Or what? I burn every plant in Gotham. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Fine! It was Falcone. He hired me to kill you in Holiday. He was going to give me the Amazon Forest. Thanks for the help, Batman. I didn't do it alone. Catwoman helped me. We saw her leaving the place a few minutes ago. I have to go on patrol of the city. Yeah, today's St. Patrick's Day, right? That Holiday killer is probably going to show up. Probably.
we're going to take this poison ivy to Arkham. Good luck on your hunt, Batman. Good evening, citizens of Gotham. After you saw exclusive footage of Batman arresting the woman dressed with a costume made with plants, we now welcome again Mr. Morrison to discuss the threatening serial killer known as Holiday, who has been on a killing spree on numerous members of the mob. Hello, Grant. We are happy to have you here tonight. My pleasure, Paul. Now, Grant, what is your opinion about this Holiday figure? It's been five months that the GCPD and Batman have been chasing him, and still nothing. What do you think about this criminal? So first things first. I think we should stop calling him a criminal. Holiday is doing to this damn city a favor. Get rid of the mob. I mean, how? The Bat has been doing this for a whole year, it's always the same. He lock up someone, that person gets out, and the circle starts again, over and over again. So what do you think we should call him? Last time we checked, murder is against the very law book we stand upon. Holiday is still a murderer. The Bat, although being a vigilante, never killed any of his catches. Holiday is the Batman that works. In my opinion, Batman is wasting his time trying to maintain this rule. I pray to God that one day he sees that and start doing the same thing. Until then, I believe in this new hero. So I believe Gotham needs Batman to remind us that we must follow the rules by heart. Without it, this world would be way worse. But thank you for your opinion, Grant. Here we believe in the plurality of ideas. Our debate will return after the break. Meanwhile, our new villain is on the trending topics in social media. A lot of internet users have been talking about the coincidence of this woman showing up on St. Patrick's Day. And we will also discuss her alias. They are calling her... Poison Ivy? Poison Ivy? This town just gets crazier. I know, right? Sorry, sir, but we're closed. Huh? Jesus Christ! Here is Unit 52, reporting gunshots heard at Moroni's restaurant. We will request backup immediately. I assume you're Holiday. The Reaper? I am Mortis. What the hell? Kill them! Are you okay, Papa? All oh, my men are dead. Just like your brother, Pino. And it's all because of Holiday. Alfred! Dear Lord, Master Bruce, what happened? I met Holiday. <sighs> Uh. 
<sighs> Welcome back to the land of living, sir. Oh, what, what happened? I saved your bloody ass from certain death. Again. That's great. Thank you, Alfred. Ah, uh, thank you? Won't make up for making me sew you again. You know I have to do it. Because of a bloody vow? Why don't you invest in Gotham Police Department instead? Give money so they can suit themselves up to do their job better. No one can do what I do. Why not? Just look at this holiday killer. He is doing what you do, but he is just someone who is willing to kill to reach his goals. You're a young man with a childish vow and too much anger. You're out of your bloody mind. And I don't want this to be your end. Every night I'm out there protecting my city. I'm the only thing between the innocent and the criminals. I am the one who makes thieves and muggers think twice because I make them afraid. That is who I am. It's probably Commissioner Gordon. And the phone has been ringing for the whole night. Commissioner. Batman. Thank God you're alive. Officer Foley told me that he saw you leaving Maroney's restaurant bleeding out. I'm better now. I'm glad to hear it, because Maroney's men aren't. What the hell happened? Holiday killed them. I tried to stop him, but Maroney showed up and started shooting at us, so Holiday ran away. Did you see his face? No, he was wearing a mask, which may surprise you, but he was wearing the Reaper's mask. The Reaper? That's not possible. The Italian mob blew him up a long time ago. It may be somebody else. Did Judson Caspian have any relatives alive? Only a daughter, Rachel Caspian. But she's a nun and lives in Rome right now. His other relatives are dead. Are you certain about the Reaper's mask? Because it is supposed to be here in the GCPD evidence room. Are you sure about this? I remember the case of the missing evidence on GCPD. Maybe the mask is one of them. Maybe you're right. Then maybe Holiday could be a cop. Or he bought the mask on the black market. Do you know who would be selling those things? I heard about a Gotham gift shop on Gotham's underworld selling those kinds of objects. I'll look into it. Okay. What about the message he left? Celebramus. It means celebrate. Celebrate what? St. Patrick's Day? Or Maroney's gang death. Maybe both. Anyway, we will wrap everything up here. If you find anything new, let me know. Sir, look there on the wall. What does it mean? It means fall. Look out! Are you okay, Don Falcon? I'm fine. Was that Holiday? Most likely. He missed the shot. Why didn't he shoot again? Because he meant to miss the shot. Why? It's April Fools. Every time I come here, I remember about that night. The gunshots. The pearls falling, the light leaving my parents' eyes as I stood there, powerless to do anything. As I learned that nothing ends well for those who live in this city. It's been 19 years since they died, but the wound is still fresh. Not died, Bruce. Murdered. What happened to your parents was terrible, but you survived. You could have been spending your time doing charity, or investing on GCPD, but instead you're using your time and money in this auto-destructive life of yours. Leslie, there's no other way. Don't even start. I don't want to hear your excuses. You're wrong. There's always another way, Bruce. Your parents' death was not your fault. I know that. I'm doing what must be done, but now is not the time for this. Why did you call me here after all, Bruce? 
I've never thanked you for being there that night. You were the first one to approach me and offer me something to keep me warm. And after that, you've always looked out for me. You're like a mother to me, Leslie. And I thank you for that. But I will never stop being Batman. Because that's what this city needs. Jim. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. Another murder? Yes. The victim this time was Carla Vitti, the Roman sister. Today's Mother's Day. It's a holiday. What about the message? It's fascinous. It means crime. Do you have any suspects? Carla was one of them. Now I have three. Fish Mooney, the Penguin, and Harvey Dent. Harvey? What the hell? Did you know Harvey is seeing a psychiatrist? Yeah, just a routine. After all, he suffers a lot of pressure as DA. It's worse than that. I had a dream on New Year's Eve. It felt so real. I was talking to my other... personality. He called himself Big Bad Harv. Because that's how the Joker called me when I attacked him on Christmas. And what did he tell you? He said that he wanted to do justice, but in his own way. What is this other way? Probably he was talking about killing. But this is wrong! I would never kill to achieve my goals. And your other thinks the opposite. What if something really bad happens and he takes control? Oh god, this is terrible! What should I do, Doc? <sighs> this situation is worse than I expected, Harvey. I want you to go admit yourself over at Gotham General for a few days. I can't do that, Doc! It would have ruined my career as DA and lawyer! How would I support my wife without my job? There has to be another way. Please. Well, uh, maybe we can intensify our sections. Great! I will do it. Just set up a schedule and I will be here. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? I suppose you're Hanley. My name's Malone. Matches, Malone. Oh, it was you who called me a few days ago. Yeah, that's right. So I guess this is the Gotham gift shop. Yes, it is. If a piece featured in Gotham crime, and it's not in a GCPD evidence room, you'll find it here. As I said on the phone, I'm looking for a gun used on the Wayne's murder. Yeah, I have it here. How much for it? I'm asking for a thousand for it. Keep the change. That's a deal. Hey, what about that old Reaper vigilante? Do you have his mask? No, I sold it last year, before Halloween. Who bought it? Why do you want to know? Are you a cop or something? I just like old stuff. Maybe I could buy the mask from the other guy. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know his name, he covered his face with a dark hood and called himself Mr. Mortis. Okay, I'll start looking around for this Mr. Mortis. Thanks for everything, Mr. Graves. Thank you for buying Joe Chill's old gun. Have a great day. Tell me, how is your business going, Salvatore? This holiday guy killed most of my men. If we don't put an end to the serial killer, it might be our end soon. Let me tell you a story, my son. A long time ago, Gotham already had to deal with someone like Holiday. He was called Reaper. Me and Vincent Carmine's father joined forces with the GCPD to kill the Vigilante. We first thought that the Reaper was working for the Irish mob, so we killed all the Irish that we could find in Gotham. But the killing spree continued anyway, 
So we discovered that the Reaper wasn't working for the Irish. It was just a man trying to play hero. What happened to the Reaper? We burned the whole building to kill the bastard. That action ruined our business for a while, but we recovered from that. We always do. You have to act like a man. If Falcone couldn't get this holiday, you must take the lead. Show the other families that you are capable of doing what Carmine couldn't. Show them that you will do whatever it takes to stop this holiday killer. Did you hear that? Father! actually taking me to the theater. Neither can I. This day has been surprisingly <coughs> calm. Gordon's house. Jim, it's Merkel. It's an emergency. They need you at Luigi Maroni's house. Ah, damn it. Tell him that I'm going. He's gonna meet you there. I'm so sorry, honey. But Dad has to go to work. It's okay. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks, honey. Sir, the bat signal is on. I saw. Thank you, Alfred. What is this, sir? This is the gun that killed my parents. Oh, dear. What are you going to do with it? I grew up broken and sad after this piece of metal took my parents away from me. But after tonight, it's never going to hurt anyone, ever, again. I burned the gun and forged it into something useful. So the same metal that broke my heart as a child will protect my heart as a man. I always think about how my life would have been if my parents didn't die. But it's just a child's dream, and I'm thankful for having you as my father figure, Alfred. And that's why I promise that I will be more careful from now on. Bruce, I might have treated you too harsh on that night when you almost died, but I did it because- I know, Alfred. Thank you. And happy Father's Day. Good morning, Clay. Harvey, how was Father's Day? It was terrible. I had to visit my father. At least you still have one. Anyway, there's someone waiting for you in your office. I think that you'll like it. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Moroni? I think it's time for us to help each other. I want to make a deal. Tell me something, Bruce. Why do you do this? Why are you the Batman? I made a promise to my parents that I would fight against crime, so no other child would have to see their parents murdered in front of them. I prepared myself and trained for years to become who I am today. How oh, touching. Now, tell me, how did you discover that I'm Batman? Oh, I've known your secret since we first met on the street. When you're trying to play hero by saving Holly and everybody else. That oh-so-big scar didn't hide Gotham's playboy billionaire Bruce Wayne from me. So when Batman appeared weeks later, I knew it was you. After all, we have been hanging out for a while now. And being Batman is the only reason for you to leave a woman like me alone on Christmas and New Year's Eve. Maybe it could be a coincidence. I'm not naive, Bruce. I'm well aware of that. But 
It still amazes me that you are a thief. I'm not a thief. I just like taking back what powerful men, like Falcone, steal from ordinary people like me. That's still robbery. Even if it belongs to me? It belongs to the people, not only you. And who told you that I grab it for myself? What I get is to the people of the East End. Still, it's wrong. Maybe it is, but deep down, you know that what people like Falcone and Moroni do is far worse than what I'm doing. Well, if I don't stop Holiday, probably what you do will be worse. Speaking of it, how haven't you captured Holiday yet? I mean, you had months to hunt him down. He knows what he's doing. And about the time I've had, you should know that crime never sleeps. While I investigated this case, I still had to deal with other crimes, like Poison Ivy and the Joker. Why don't you just leave those other crimes to the cops? They can handle it. They can't. If they did, I wouldn't even be Batman. Do you have any suspects? I do. Am I one of them? Definitely not. That's a relief. Excuse me, sir, but the bat signal is on. I'm sorry, Cat, but I have to go. It's okay, Bat. I know my way out. Good luck. Harvey, where's Gordon? He is not here. I called you. What is it? Moroni made a deal. He is going to turn over all the Italian mob for us. He is going to testify. So the Italian crime families will finally be dissolved. That's exactly what we wanted. Congratulations, Harvey. I just hope no politician gets in the way and frees these mobsters. Now we have to go after the Penguin and Fish Mooney before they try to continue Falcone's legacy. Maybe I'll have to sit this one out. I might have to take a break after taking down Falcone. I'm sure that'll be well deserved. But what about Holiday? Jim, I was just talking to Batman about- You can tell me about it later, Harvey. There has been another murder. Who was it this time? Fish Mooney. Civilibus. It means politicians. What does he mean by that? My theory is that he's building a sentence with these words. I was thinking that too. So far we had justice, liar, I am death, vengeance, death, celebrate, fall, crime, corrupt, and now politicians. But I don't think that they make a connection. They're probably connected. I think the message is... Justice is a liar. I am death. Death celebrates the fall of crime and corrupt politicians. So death would be a subject. When I fought him on St. Patrick's Day, he said, I am Mortis. The word Mortis means death. And that's how he called himself. Mortis. What about the word on Loeb's murder? Vengeance. He didn't put that in a sentence. Because Loeb was a personal vendetta, whatever Mortis's reasons are, it has a direct relation to Loeb's past. That's a strong theory. With Fish Mooney's death, I can only think about one person to be Holiday, or Mortis. It all leads to the Penguin. He is one of the two suspects on my list. You still think that Harv is a suspect? Jim. Can you tell me where Harvey was when the murders happened? I'm so glad that you came by to take some coffee with me, Gilda. I'm glad to be here. By the way, where's Jim and little Barbara? Jim went to work already, and Barbara is at school. Ah, okay. Is everything okay? I... I don't know. I've been worried a lot about Harvey lately. Why? What happened? He's been acting weird since the Joker attacked him on Christmas. Maybe he's just too stressed about his work. Jim is like that every time. That's what worries me. 
Everything is going to be okay soon, Gilda. After all, today's the big day. Your husband and mine are taking down the Italian mob. Finally. I know, and I'm really glad for them. But is it really going to ever end? My father knows that you're going to testify against him and the other families. I would never do that against them. I'm doing this for myself. I am well aware of that. Is that what I think it is? As far as I know, it's just a remedy. So the woman's worried about my ulcer. How touching. This court is now in session. The prosecution calls Salvador Vincent Maroni, also known as Boss Maroni, to the stand. One second, I'm coming. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I swear. Mr. Maroni, is it true that you work for the Roman? No, I work with Falcone. We're like a big family. But isn't he the head of this big family? A witness said that he is number one, and you are number two. That means he is the chief. Whoever said that's a liar. We work together to control our... business. And what is your business? I own a restaurant. We also know that you sell drugs in the black market. Which is your main business? And you also have killed for Falcone. We have proof that connects you to their murder of the Bertinellis. I don't know about that, Mr. Dan. I have to remind you that you're under oath. And everything that you say can be used against you. Yeah, so... Yes? The Roman sends his regards. Salvador Moroni, you've been accused of theft, 12 murders, and organizing crime. What do you have to say in your defense? Uh, can I take my remedy to treat my ulcer first? Ulcer? What remedy? This! Ah! Harvey! I'm calling an ambulance. You're dead, Dan. Did you really think you had me? Take the defendant back to his cell. We are live with urgent news. The district attorney, Harvey Dent, was attacked by Salvatore Moroni, the owner of Moroni's restaurant. Right after that, the GCPD found Mr. Dent's wife, Gilda Dent, dead at their house. The police department couldn't give any more details about what happened to her. We just hope that Mr. Dent recovers from these two situations. Jim, why don't you have a seat? I will never forget the sound of Harvey screaming. I... I just hope that I could have done something. There's nothing we can do right now until the doctor... Tommy! How's Harvey? He will survive. Right now, he is stable. And the nurse is taking good care of him. A plastic surgery will be able to repair most of the physical scars. I've just scheduled it for next week. Thank God. Right now, I'm more worried about the mental scars. Huh? What was that? My God! He's gone. Why are you here? Where is Harvey Dent? If I knew that, you'd be dead already. He disappeared on August 16th. The nurse who was treating him was found dead. Today is September 6th. 
My theory is that you already killed him. If I did, it would have proved that Den is Holiday. Something that you couldn't. Or maybe you don't want to. Maybe you let him create this whole long Halloween thing so that we can be taken down. That's how my man called us. Long Halloween. If you think that Harvey is Holiday and you haven't killed him yet, I would be very careful. After all, today is Labor Day. Sir, Officer Aaron Cass called you on the red phone from Arkham Asylum. He said that they may have found something about the Holiday Killer. Officer Cash, what have you got? Well, I am a big friend of Detective Christmas Allen, who was working on a holiday killer case. He told me that you discovered the killer calls himself Mortis. That's right. So when I came to work today, I remembered about some letters that an inmate received and the sender was referred to as Blade Mortis. Hmm. There's no sender's address. Yeah, we just found them in the mailbox. He probably put them there himself. But there are no cameras where the mailbox is. And who is the inmate that received these letters? Julian Day. I know that you're not Holiday, Julian. Gordon said you'd capture him by March, but you didn't. He's smart. Who is he? Who is Holiday? There's a lot of mystery behind this. Officer Cash told me that you received letters from someone called Blade Mortis. And we both know that Holiday prefers to be called Mortis. But I want his real name. Today's Labor Day, Batman. And you have something he wants. You ought to kill me, Commissioner? No. We're transferring you to Blackgate. Sewer? Really? We are taking serious precautions to avoid that Holiday kills you. Ah, right. Why not just put me in an armored car? Get down! I am Mortis. No! I, I hit you! Now, it's over. I will call for backup. Go after Maroni. Salvador the Boss Maroni. Who... who's that? The jury. Dent, you... you alive? Heads, you live. And tails... You die. killed Maroney. Harvey was here? Yes, but he ran away. What is that? He's a human. His name's Waylon Jones. Okay. We will take him to Arkham. And Maroney's body to the morgue. What about Harvey? We will go after him later. Right now we have to put an end to Holiday. He is in our custody at GCPD's interrogation room. So who's going to start? No more games, Duncan. Start talking. Oh, Commissioner. 
You can end the theatricals of the good and the bad cop. You can tell your friend to stop lurking in the shadows and face me. Look at him, the man of the hour. Just between us, the guys in blue would never have caught me if you were not there guiding their little minds. Why did you do all of this? This? Oh, you mean my art. You know that Latin is a dead language. I'm not here for a history lesson, Duncan. Justice is a liar. I am death. Death celebrates the fall of crime and corrupt politicians. But I suppose you're wondering about my missing word. Why I left out vengeance on this sentence. That's because Loeb was a personal matter. He killed someone very close to you, didn't he? Very perceptive. Maybe you are the world's greatest detective. You know what they say about New Year's, Batman? Bye-bye old things. The same death my parents received without any motives. The mob and these corrupt police officers killed my parents. The message is not only a threat, but also a promise. And why kill on holidays? Holidays are special days during the year. Out of the ordinary, something to be remembered. Turns out, I'm no ordinary killer. Every holiday will be turned into a tragic memory for those people who ruin lives in pursuit of power and money. I know about the letters you sent to Julian Day. You can tell I got that inspiration from Calendar Man. I was his lawyer. Help the guy to be declared insane and go to Arkham Asylum. He told me about his crimes. I liked the idea. And we know that ideas are powerful. They can spread faster than a virus. My work is done. My message is sent. The mob destroyed lots of lives already. This has to end. Just look at some of the more popular examples. Bruce Wayne had his parents killed because of a criminal. Harvey Dent, the beloved DA, was twisted with a bottle of acid. I did what you could not. I declared war on crime. And I won. Did you have a hand on what happened to Harvey? I may be a killer, but I have principles. And of course, nothing against Harvey. Need someone to blame? What about you start looking in the good old Falcone family? Sophia may know the answer to your questions, because I saw her visiting Moroni before the trial. So did Harvey. What the hell is happening, Gordon? We believe that Dent might be coming after you. So I was right. He is Holiday. No. We've captured Holiday. Clay Duncan is the serial killer. Clay Duncan? The lawyer? I have to ask you to go back inside, Falcone. For your own safety. Fine. It's been two hours already. Do you think that he's coming? No. Okay, guys. Let's go back to the department. Gilda. My wife. They took her from me. My job. My life. They took everything from us. We have to take care of them. For good. She deserves justice. Let Jim and Batman do her justice. Yes. She deserves justice. But our justice. Good heads. You let Batman and the GCPD take care of Falcone. Bad heads. We hit them hard. Excuse me, sir. 
But Miss Kyle is calling you. Tell her that I'm busy. I have to find Harvey. It's been one month since Mr. Dent disappeared. Have you stopped to think that he may not want to be found? That's out of the question, Alfred. Harvey is a dangerous man now. So I can just hope that you find him and figure out a way to help your old friend. I will. But I don't think that Harvey wants... help. What is it, Master Bruce? There's something wrong in the asylum. From the footage, it seems like everything is fine, sir. That's the problem, Alfred. Those guards on the footage are Sunday's crew, but today's Monday. Oh my. I'm sorry, but just like Mr. Sturkin says, today is not your day of freedom, Julian Day. Happy Halloween! There's been a massive breakout from Arkham Asylum. Send a team here. There are a lot of guards dead. Julian, what happened here? You're too late, Batman. He's already on his way. Who did this? A two-faced man. He's known as Harvey Dent. Oh no... Today is Halloween... <laughs> Your reign is now over, Roman. I will let no mobster run in my city. I would rather burn this whole city than start of giving it up to maniacs like you. Chances. You may have a chance to fight back, Carmine. The coin will decide it. But first, I have to deal with a personal vendetta. What vendetta? Sylvia! Now it's your turn. Harvey, wait! I don't think so. Hey, Babs! Bye-bye, <laughs> Babsy! <laughs> Harvey, don't pull the trigger. You're a good man. If you kill Falcone, you'll be just like him. Let's solve this by the book. You of all people should know that the system doesn't work. The only law that works is the law of averages. I can decide justice by the flip of this coin. No, this can't be! Now it's over, Harvey. Give me the gun. Think about Gilda. What would she think about you right now? Gilda. Give me the gun, Harvey. We can help you. I don't think so. Let's try this one more time. No! How?
So here we are. The three of us. Reunited once again. Falcone is down. And he is down by the book. We got him. By the terms we agreed one year ago. Soon enough, Falcone will be out there destroying more lives. You need help, Harvey. As far as I know, it's you two who need help when Falcone runs free again. I have to congratulate you two. As Falcone's men called, the long Halloween is finally over. And you've captured the two holiday killers. Merkel, take him to a cell. What did he mean about two holidays? Clay Duncan is holiday, but Harvey killed Maroney and Sophia Falcone in two different holidays. So, it means that Harvey Dent was a holiday killer too. This was hell of a long Halloween, but at least the Italian mob is down, and we captured a serial killer. But after all that's happened, losing our friends, was it really worth it? Jim, I heard the news. You arrested Harvey. Yeah. Harvey's not himself. He... He killed people. The Harvey I knew would never do such a thing. We had to transfer him to Arkham. I'm so sorry, Jim. And what are you going to do now? I have to continue. My duty still goes on. I believe in Gotham City. Killed up. You keep doing that in the mural break. Look who it is. The man of the night. It's good to have you back, Bruce. Thanks, Harv. It's good to be back. Man, how long has it been since you started this crazy study aboard of yours? Five years. Wow. Five years. I guess that this is a welcome party. Though, you never had any reason for those big parties when we were in high school. You're right. This is Alfred's idea, actually. I wanted to keep me updated about Gotham's news. Thought I could read about the cleaning up that you and your bat friend are doing in GCPD. Congratulations. Thanks, Bruce. It still is a work in progress. We still have to go after the mobsters. They are the big ones. Hopefully I get re-elected so I can finish what I started. I'm sure you will. You know that you'll have my support. Put a dent in crime. <laughs> oh, look. That lady is coming in our direction. I guess that nothing has changed. You still monopolize the girls. I actually brought this girl to meet you, moron. Mo. Oh. Harvey Dent, this is Gilda Gold. Gilda Gold, Harvey Dent. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Gold. I guess that you're the White Knight of Gotham. I'm more like a Grey Knight, actually. I don't like to wear white. Though I am wearing a white suit tonight. <laughs> So, why did you choose to be a lawyer, Mr. Dent? I believe that everyone deserves a fair judgment. What about you? What do you work on? I'm a sculptor, but I also work with marketing. Okay. So if you don't have a boyfriend or a husband, let's have dinner tomorrow. Wow, you move fast, Mr. Dent. Life moves fast, Miss Gold. So, what do you say? Would you have dinner with me? Yes. Gilda. Harvey, I've spoke to your psychiatrist, Grace Lamont, and to Dr. Thomas Elliott. We'll do everything in our power to make sure that you get the help you deserve, old friend. How did we let this happen, Bruce? Why is the world so cruel? I was just trying to do the right thing. And Gilda... 
She was just married to the wrong guy. I'm so sorry, Harvey. No, you don't. It's because of you that we are like this. You and Batman. All this started when you supported our campaign to be re-elected as DA. And Batman was not there to save us. And... And I lost everything. Harvey... Just... Go away, Bruce. Leave me alone. I swore to my parents to free this city from the evil that took their lives. I declared war on crime. I took down the serial killer known as Holiday. I arrested Carmine the Roman Falcone and my friend, Harvey Dent. Now the war goes on. It may never end, but I believe in Gotham City. And I'll never stop fighting. Because I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman.